haven't um, seen any of my videos before, um, do take a look because I often like to share stories from old antique and vintage children's storybooks. And they're the sort of stories that if we didn't keep them alive, they'd get lost. And it, I often particularly like the ones from that golden era of illustration, the 1900s, 20s, 30s, 40s. So do take a look. Anyway, today I'm talking about something slightly different, but it still has that sort of spirit of that golden age. And it's the country diary of an Edwardian lady. Now, believe it or not, this Edwardian diary wasn't actually made public until 1977. So many of you might be familiar with the original publication. It has a lovely cream um, cover to the book. But this is a lovely edition which was published in 2018 by Rizzoli Publishers USA and I'll put the note in my description and it's got one of those lovely fabric covers so it's absolutely delightful and one of those books even if you don't read it it's just lovely to have in your collection. Edith Holden was born in 1871 so she had that typical Victorian childhood and then blossomed into an Edwardian lady all through the, the early 1900s. She grew up in Warwickshire and she was very inspired by that Victorian arts and crafts movement. Um, when she grew up she did become an art teacher and also an illustrator specialising in drawings of animals and nature and all the observations that she could see. She would go on country walks and make notes and just discover all the tiniest details that were surrounding her. So the whole diary is a lovely record of all the nature that was in the countryside in the early 1900s. The Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady is a whole year's worth of a set of seasonal notes that Edith Holden recorded down in her diary in 1906 and she used beautiful watercolours and poetry and it really comes to life. So here's just an example of some of the beautiful poems and watercolours and all those illustrations, all with the finest detail. Now, as Edith grew up, she got married and she moved to London, close to Kew Gardens, and she would continue her nature walks. And she was an Edwardian lady, and so she used to like hosting parties. But one terrible day, she went out for a walk and she didn't return. Poor Edith had drowned in the backwaters um, near Kew. And uh, it was thought that she was reaching over for some chestnut branches with her umbrella and the branch broke and she tumbled into the water. So it's quite ironic that she died, or perhaps it's lovely that she died doing something that she loved most. But her spirit lives on through the charming portraits of the English countryside and the exquisite watercolour paintings and delights, delightful observations of the English countryside so do look out for a copy and I hope you get in touch with Edith because she really is a charming lady.